I wanted to highlight this valve core removal tool from Navac. This is the NVR2. And so you're going to notice that there is a caps on all sides of this. And so the whole point is you want to end up capping this off when you're all done because uh, technicians typically just throw these right in their bags. You don't want to have dirt, dirt and debris getting into here and you don't want to have humidity mixing with the old refrigerant oil inside your VCRT. And so on this tool you have a 5 16 and also a quarter inch right here in the front. And so you can remove this, this 5 16 adapter. So it's 5 16 to quarter inch and then you just have your quarter inch adapter. So this will connect to standard ducted systems and the 5 16 one will be able to connect to say mini split systems. And you have this rod here on the back. And so you can disconnect this rod. And I do like this style uh, of the kind of mouth in the front right here. Now, when I use valve core removal tools, I typically am removing the valve core out of the side. And that's because I tend to use three valve core removal tools on my two hose vacuum setup. And so on here, you can see that it's grabbing a hold of the end of the valve core right here. And so it's not necessarily tension fitting this little rectangle here because some valve cores have different size rectangle uh, shapes right here. And so this is just grabbing on the end. And I actually prefer this style. And so you have this rod is a little bit longer, but that's because it's going to accommodate both the 5 16 and the quarter inch port right here in the front. And so I tend to just keep my cap on here or I can measure pressure on the side here, say if we're doing a recovery process. And so you wanna have a uh, a good vacuum rated ball valve on your VCRT for pulling a vacuum. And so you can just valve this off and you can keep your vacuum gauge right here on the side. And this uh, ball valve right here is rated down below 20 microns. And so that's a pretty deep vacuum level. And you can also use this for doing your recovery process and you can connect your, your pressure probe right here on the side to monitor your pressure. So on a recovery, you're going to be monitoring pressure and you're going to be leaving your uh, VCRT on the ports the entire time while you're doing the recovery because you want to remove the restriction during the recovery process. Likewise, when you're doing your vacuum, you want to remove that valve core and you want to leave your, your VCRT on the port the entire time. And you're not installing a new valve core into the system until there's positive pressure uh, at the port. So either you have to break the vacuum with refrigerant from the bottle or from the service valves before you put a new valve core in. And it's important to put new valve cores in because a little seal right here uh, gets squished and it may not seal properly if you're just reinstalling it again.